Line 8E, income from Form 8853. Enter on line 8E the total of the amounts from Form 8853, lines 8, 12, and 26. You can see publication 969 for more detail there on the IRS website, of course. Caution, you may have to pay an additional tax if you've received a taxable distribution from an Archer MSA or Medicare Advantage MSA. So another kind of specialty area we might touch on a little bit more in future presentations, but you could see the instructions for Form 8853 for more detail there. Line 8F, income from Form 8889. Enter on line 8F, the total of the amounts uh, from Form 8889, line 19 to 20. So again, you could we might be able to look at the instructions if you wanna dive down on that more of the form uh, 8889. Caution, you may have to pay an additional tax if you received a taxable distribution from a health savings account. You can see instructions for form 8889 for more detail there. Line 8H, jury duty pay. Also see instructions for line 24A. So there's you know different kind of rules on the jury duty if you got reimbursed and whatnot and all that kind of stuff. Usually it's a fairly small amount that someone's going to get paid for for jury duty so it's not usually like a really uh material tax different oft, oftentimes for most people but depending on on the earnings it could be so line 8i prizes and awards enter prizes and awards but see the instructions for line 8m olympic and paralympic uh, medals and USOC prize money later. So this is, you know, similar to, to, you know, the winnings kind of thing. Now you've got money, you've, you've received prizes. So, and awards for something that was done. And again, from the IRS perspective, if you've got a prize or award, everything is basically income unless they say, they say otherwise. And if you would think if you earned the prize, then you, you would think it would be kind of like earned income for the most part, unless there's some kind of uh, uh, exception related to it. So line 8J, activity not entered in for-profit profit. Profit. income. So it's not uh, a for, you, you entered into an activity that's not for-profit. So remember we talked before about the idea that if it is a for-profit thing, if, if then you're gonna wanna have to put it on the Schedule C or something like that, because, because uh, if it's business income, you have to pay Social Security and Medicare. So that's a big deal because that's a that's a big difference. And whereas if it's not uh, a for-profit activity, then possibly you can put the in income somewhere on uh, the other income section. And that's where it's usually not going to be subject. You're not going to be calculating the Social Security and Medicare on it oftentimes. So line 8K stock options, enter on line 8K, any income from the excess of stock options not otherwise reported on form 1040 or 1040SR, line uh, 1H, line 8I, income from the rental of personal property if you engaged in the rental for profit, but were not in the business of renting such property, profit or property. <laughs> you can also see the instructions for more detail on that on line 24B later.